Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Walking with Bears Meditation this morning, Santa as Shaman, the Gift of Love. This morning we have with us Judith Yost, who will be our guide on the journey, and we will also have other guest presenters that you will meet in a few moments. So welcome, everyone. Hello. Love is the only power. Love is the only way. Love, 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 love. Watch our circle grow. Love is the only power. Love is the only way. Love, 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 watch our circle grow. Hello, everybody. It's wonderful to be with you on this eve of celebration of the gift of love. I'm Will Tegel, and this is Judith Yost that just sang, and this is Will Turner. And in a way, this is a family gathering today as well as a tribal gathering. So, so Will is our grandson and also going to be helping us out today. So this is a Santa the Shaman story today. And also the aim always of the Shaman is to bring back the essence of the soul, the gift of love. So I want to talk to you about that and tell the story, but I like to tell the story from the perspective of the Siberian shaman, because it was the Siberian shaman who gave us the story many, many millennia ago, thousands of years before Christ, thousands of years before Abraham, thousands of years before Socrates or Muhammad. You had the wisdom, this primordial wisdom coming to us through the story. And then through the years, various civilizations took this basic story, this primordial story, and appropriated it. And, you know, for good or ill here in the United States, we've made a big commercial event out of it. But what I hope you can, you can do and move along with us today and experience what it meant in its one of its primal, primal origins. In order to tell the story, I'm going to tell it from the standpoint of, of a shaman by the name, a Siberian shaman by the name of, of Amartya. Now, Amartya was a uh, name that was given to this shaman through the plant world because it was the plant world that gave us this whole story. I'm going to change my clothes now <laughs> from Will and go into being this Siberian shaman. So I'm taking this off now. And let's see. I'll put on red because red was <clears throat> the color of the plant Amartya. And the plant Amartya was what opened up the, the consciousness of the shaman and also the people in order to make this shamanic journey. And then they would put on dyed deer skin uh, through various means of dyeing uh, that they used to make red. So they honored the plant. The plant itself was red and white. And so that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to put on the, these ceremonial pieces mm -hmm. so that we can, we can go together. And then I'm going to pick up the shamanic drum and walk over. You see here we have uh, a bison skin here to hold us. And Amartya, I as a Amartya want to say to you people um, 
the way we did this in Siberia was we had a bear rug. But I know you don't have a bear rug here. So we're going to use this as uh, the focal point of our beginning uh, here today. Now, another little feature I want to tell you, uh, those of you who are there uh, joining us, is you know you have stockings that you hang over the fireplace. Well, where that comes from is we in Siberia would take the Amartya plant and put them in our socks and we would hang them over the fire to dry them out. So I have some plants that will help me gather this morning. This is a beautiful aromatic sage that I'll put in here in the sock. And this is another aromatic. Uh, this is uh, from the cave of the white shaman. It's an aromatic uh, healing plant. And then this is a beautiful plant called salvia, which is also aromatic. And, and <clears throat> in the ancient world, any plant that really was aromatic was mind-changing. So I know you, you people have the idea that, that you have to ingest a plant in order to be, uh, in, move into a transordinary state. But like, like this, you can, you can, smell the plant. If you'll come down here, Judah. So squeeze, squeeze that and smell of that. Oh, mm, and that's well, pungent. you come that's over good. and mm. squeeze it, smell of it. Mm. Yeah. So all of this, see, I'm already going on a journey. I don't need to ingest it in a usual way. I'm taking it into my energy field just by smelling it. And we <clears throat> Siberian shaman knew how to do that. Also, I'm going to put some mezcal beans, which are really beautiful beans. If you can see the beans here, the mezcal beans from what's called mountain laurels. But these, I understand from Will that the ancient people in North America use these in order to help them make journey. And then <clears throat> Will and I went this morning and picked a little piece of the Datura plant, this wild Datura plant that uh, really helps the ancient people to open up. And just as I put it on my, on my throat here and touch it, it pricks my skin just a little bit and I put it into the uh, sock. And then finally, I have just a common bit of this beautiful, beautiful plant that I'm going to put in there. So then <clears throat> we'll leave this here and this is drying out and it'll help us go on our journey. Now, another thing that, that we did uh, in the, in, in the uh, ancient world in Siberia, through the millennia, there would be ice ages. So there would be masses amounts of snow that would cover up our long houses. And so we had to build tunnels up through the snow and ice down into the house, into the fire and the places where we kept the fire. And it was these tunnels that we would go through in order to make it on the shamanic journey. And we use drums to help us go along the way. So now I'm gonna, Judith and I are gonna take you with us as we make this journey to see if we can bring back the gift of love. So if you'll notice there, there's a hole in this rock. And this rock is the opening that takes us through this tunnel that I mentioned. That takes us to the upper world. And so Will tells me that 
these days you come down, you think of Santa as coming down the chimney. Well, we came down the tunnel of snow and ice into a large rock where we kept the fire. So as a martyr, I'm going to sing a song that helps Judith and I go on this journey. Yeah, hey, 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 ho, yeah, hey, hey, ho, poo-ha, poo-ha. Up, up, up I go, yeah, hey, hey, ho, poo-ha, poo-ha, up I go. On I go, hunter yo, ooh ah, yeah, hey, hey, hey ho, yeah, hey, hey, hey ho, ooh ah, up I go, on I go, hunter yo, ooh ah. And so now I'm entering into the eternal circle of the upper world. And you know, Will tells me about this, that you have physicists who are speaking about the many worlds or the many universes. Well, we knew about that a long time ago. And so even though we're here in this fire area in in the world that you're in, in the world of the shaman, we're now in the eternal circle. And the eternal circle has, first of all, the gift of fire. So, light this fire. And containing this fire is a chalice that Will tells me was given to Will and Judith upon their adoption into the Toltec Mashika tribe around Teotihuacan. And in the eternal circle, there is the gift of the sun. And in our world in Siberia, the sun was especially a wonderful gift. And the sun gives us its generativity, gives us its fertile essence. And the fertile essence is love itself. And offspring of this ball of energy are four balls that we will bring back to you wherever you are. And these balls represent and contain and convey the gift of love. Now, you hang these balls on your Christmas trees. Maybe you don't know what they mean, but they actually convey to us and embody the gift of love. And I'm going to put them in this medicine bag. Now, the medicine bag got transformed by American capitalism into something else. But originally, we took the gift of love and put them in the medicine bag, and put them around our back to carry with the, that's good, thank you there, and to carry back to the people this gift of love. 
And so once we once we have the gift, then we make the return journey. come up through and down through the ice and snow and into the warm house where our loved ones await. And now we're ready for the gift of love. So, Will, if you'll come over. And wherever you are, if you have a Christmas tree, you'll know that these little balls really carry the gift of love. So I'm going to put one on this tree. I'll put it right here. And then you can find a place to hang your ball. And I'll hold the fire, Judith. Okay. And you can put the ball of love over on this tree somewhere. This one? Okay. There you go. Here's one there. There we go. And so I invite you now wherever you are, to take your right hand and rub your heart and take into your life the gift of love. Sometimes the gift of love comes through reindeers. Sometimes it comes through whatever ally you have. For Christians, it might come through Jesus. For Buddhists, it might come through Buddha. For Islamic people, it may come through Muhammad. But whatever the conveyor for the native peoples of North America, Will tells me it comes through the white buffalo and buffalo calf woman. But in all cases, it is the gift of love. And Will tells me things aren't going too well around the world. But I can tell you that above all else, Love comes up through all of the chaos and confusion to form the gift in our hearts and in our lives. And Will Turner is going to offer us a response, and he's, he's going to wrap up the present. Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Will Turner, also known as The Wind, and I'm a rapper. So I'm going to do a little freestyle uh, for you all. I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> yo, yo. Look. When I think about Christmas, I think about forgiveness. If you've never seen a freestyle rap before, then you don't want to miss this. It's kind of cold, but I'm kind of bold, and people rapping without thinking off the top of their head is kind of old. So let me tell you something, let me tell you the truth. I'm spitting from my heart, comes through my throat and out my teeth. Whoops, I meant my tooth. Want to see something real? Let me show you the real deal. I've been chilling like a villain, but being the Grinch ain't the cool thing. So you got to change the game and change your name and change your ways and change the lane. Now look. When you want to think about Christmas, you got to think about family, your brother, your mother, your sister, your father, and everyone other than, well, yourself, because that would be conceited. When you get conceited, then you might get heated. You need heat to light the fire, but then you might light the wire, and electricity will take you way too high. You don't want to get so high. You want to stay nice and level, because when you're in the middle, you can play the fiddle and have a melody. When you have a melody, you can be great. If you're not great, well, that doesn't mean you have to turn to hate. Some people do, and that's the reason we're in this political state. But wait, 
Let me not go there. This is Christmas. It's about family. It's about love. It's about the breeze. It's about everything in between. It's about the sky, the ground, the trees. Let me take a minute to catch my breath. First off, don't be scared of death. Second off, love yourself, then love your mother. Third, love your father, love your brother. Love your sister too. Women, the feminine, that's the thing to do. That's the thing to have. That's the thing to love. That's the thing to represent. Now, here's a play on words. It's a part of rap. See, while y'all rap gifts,